co-expression of both ACE2 and T TMPRSS2 in the vicinity of each other is important for the pathogenicity of the SARS-CoV-2 infection and highlights the important role played by the transmembrane pro uh, membrane protease serine 2 or TMPRSS2. Hi, I am Malvinder Parmar, a clinical professor at the Northern Ontario School of Medicine in Ontario, Canada. I am briefing here about my recent article titled TMPRSS2, an equally important protease as ACE2 in the pathogenicity of SARS-CoV-2 infection that is being published in the coming November issue of the Mayo Clinic Proceedings. Often three steps are involved in viral infections, especially SARS-CoV-2 infection and other coronaviruses. First is the inoculation of the host by the virus, either by inhalation or by ingestion. After inoculation of the virus, the SARS-CoV-2 binds to the membrane-bound ACE2 receptor, reflecting the tissue affinity or tropism of the virus to those specific tissues that express ACE2 receptors. Finally, in order for virus to enter the cell or enter the host cell to cause injury or disease, the virus has to enter the host cell. For SARS-CoV-2 virus to enter the host cell, it requires priming of its spike protein or S protein by specific membrane bound protease called TMPRSS2. This protease plays a vital role in facilitating this step. Although there are other proteases as well, but this is the most important protease required for priming of the spike protein of the SARS-CoV-2 virus. As a simplification, for example, ACE2 is like a loyalty card of a hotel chain that attracts or binds customers to their specific group of hotels. But to enter the room of the hotel, we still require a key. And the key in the SARS-CoV-2 infection is played by TMPRSS2 that primes the spike protein of this virus after ACE2 engagement. Another example is like in order to board a flight or a plane, we require both the airline ticket as well as the boarding pass. Both are necessary. Similarly, the co-expression of ACE2 and TMPRSS2 in the vicinity of each other within the specific organs is important as shown in figure 2 of the article. There is no doubt that vaccination against SARS-CoV-2 infection is paramount to control this pandemic. However, because of the mutations occurring in the virus and waning of the immunity following vaccination after a few months, other strategies are important to control this pandemic effectively. 
Hoffman et al. in May of 2020 in Cell has shown that TMPRSS2 plays an important role in this process and they have also shown that blocking the TMPRSS2 blocks the entry of the virus into the cell. And now several trials are ongoing around the world at present evaluating this strategy to control the ongoing pandemic. If this strategy is successful, the one benefit of such a strategy would be that um, it provides a fixed target. As proteases, unlike viruses, do not mutate. So we have a fixed target rather than the virus which can mutate as we have already seen various mutants of the SARS-CoV-2 virus and the Delta mutant already is causing havoc around the world at present during the fourth wave of the pandemic within the 18 months. So results of these trials would be coming soon and hopefully if, become, if the results are positive then it adds another, arm, uh, adds another approach to the armamentarium to de uh, deal this pandemic effectively. I would be open to suggestions and feedback regarding this article if any. Thank you for your consideration. We hope you found this presentation from the content of our website valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our homepage is www.mayoclinicproceedings Org. There you'll find access to information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about Healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.